What's going on guys, Ashtinio plays here and welcome back to another video on the channel and today we have got finally, after just a normal, you know, just casual 7 month break, seems pretty legit, uh, from the Minecraft Football Stadium tutorial. So here we are with part 2, at last, um, and I am not even going to waste time making excuses. The thing is as well, the video is now over a thousand views and I honestly didn't expect it to get any sort of views really, so that is actually really really good for me and like with it reaching that many views it's just a mystery as to why I wouldn't do a part 2. Well the only reason I will give is that I was burnt out of Minecraft and it's taken me a while to get back into it I guess so I didn't want to make a video that I wouldn't enjoy making because if I don't enjoy making it who's going to enjoy watching it so that's the only justification I can give I know it's not really a good enough one but without further ado let's get straight on with the tutorial. So in the last episode we built the stands and at the start of this one what you're going to want to do is come in by five blocks from those stands and in the sixth block out from the stands I have got a marking made out of white wool. Now the reason I've got this marker here is because it is going to form just a marker of where I need to make my pitch outlines and as you'll be able to see I've got the same marking in all four corners and once I've joined these up I'll have the basic outline of the pitch. And as you can see here, I've now gone and completed it, so this is the basic outline finished. So with the outlines being a rectangular shape, what you're going to want to do is on the shorter sides, find the midpoint of this line. Now uh, the reason for this is that you're now going to want to make the goalposts. So for the goalposts, leave a gap of two blocks either side of the midpoint, and then using iron blocks, build up the posts. Now you're going to want to make these posts four blocks tall before you then decide to join it up with a crossbar as I am now about to do. So um, also another thing that you might want to do is add iron bars for decoration as goal netting and as you can see I've done it on both sides. So once you've done that we can move on to the next step. So now that you've added the goal nets, the next step is starting from the touch line, you're going to want to leave a 5 block gap and again on the 6th block using white wool you are going to want to make a line and this line should be 11 blocks long. So um, yeah, once I have completed the same thing on the other side, uh, I will explain what this is for. Um, yeah, so basically I've now completed this, the markings and this is for the 18 yard box and as I'm sure you'll all know this is a part of all football pitches and it's mandatory so as I'm sure you'll also know there is a need for a 6 yard box so here I'm going to leave a block gap of 1 from the goalpost and the line should be 4 blocks long this time. Now as always don't forget to do the same for the other side. So with the boxes all done and dusted you can now move on to the next part which is going to be making the halfway line and as you can see here I've already gone ahead and marked out the midpoint of the longer outline on this rectangular pitch marking and um, so basically I'm now going to replace the wall with grass right in the centre that I used before to make the goal posts and extend this out by one block in either direction. And this right here I think is a good way to mark out the centre circle and just personally I think it looks realistic. And another non-compulsory tip is that you could add these corner markings just because they have them in real life so why not have them in the stadium and that should conclude all the pitch markings you'll need. So with the pitch markings finished, the next step is to build the advertisement boardings around the edge and here as you can see I'm leaving a two block gap from the stands which will also leave a two block gap from the pitch outlines. And I'm going to go ahead and quickly finish this all the way round. So now here I am with black wool all the way around but this is not quite complete yet for advertisements. As decoration I recommend using paintings because this makes them look much more like advertisement boards. It's a decorative touch that you don't have to do but it would help. So despite the fact I've just made these advertisement boards, on the halfway line I will now need to make a two block gap in them and also on the halfway line I'll need to make a gap of two blocks height in this stand and 
I've just remembered I also need to extend the gap in the advertisement boards by one on each side. The reason for this being I need to make this extended tunnel and two blocks wouldn't have been enough room for it. So uh, here I'm making it out of iron blocks, you don't have to make it out of iron. Um, but I'm going to make it three blocks tall and it's also by the way two blocks away from the touch line or the outline of the pitch. Um, and that is mainly just because I thought I would leave some space for a decorative touch into my own bars. You don't have to use them, but again, I think it looks good. Unfortunately for the poor advertisement boards, it's not finished for them yet. And here, as you can see, I'm making further gaps in them. Um, and it may seem at the moment all I'm doing is destroying things, not building them. However, the paintings don't quite want to cooperate, which is banter. Uh, but basically what I'm doing here is making a gap of six on either side of the extended tunnel that you should have just made. And what this is going to be for is for the manager's technical area where they prowl next to the pitch and watch proceedings. So now I'm going to mark out that technical area with white wool. It extends out from the stand, just one block in from the gap and the start of the advertisement board. Now this is going to end one block before the touch line or the outline of the pitch. And once you've made those markings, extending out from the advertisement board, you're going to want to make the fences that are going to mark out the substitutes bench, where obviously substitutes sit as they have either been subbed off and wait until the end of the game, or they just sit and wait to be subbed on. So it's going to come back down here and join up to the advertisement board, and that will conclude the technical area and substitutes bench. So one slight issue you may have noticed with this is that it is very dark when it comes to night time and I'm now addressing this issue in adding glowstone to these iron walls. Now as you may have noticed I'm adding a gap of three between each block just to keep them nice and separated. We don't want to overdo it but just make it so that the lighting is that bit better at night. And also to further add to the lighting you may want to do this at the top tier as well but that is of course optional. So we're now going to move on to the last step and it is a very simplistic one which is just on these iron beams at the top of the stadium I'm adding some torches. I'm also going to go ahead and do the same just next to the pitch markings, the outline of the pitch and I'm going to do this the whole way around. So now you can see I've also added torches around the box and also in the centre circle but that's just optional. I feel as though it makes it look very good at night though and I'm happy with how it's turned out. So guys, that is going to be all the time for today's video, and as you may have realised, I haven't yet done the changing rooms, amongst a few other things, and that is going to be in its own video, part 3 to the tutorial, because honestly, I don't want to overcrowd things, quality over quantity, and I feel as though a part 3 would be beneficial just to keep things separated, but that's going to be the end of this video, and if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, peace out.